Let us see the next question. An investor has two portfolios known to be highlight the portion minimum variance set for a population of three securities. It is A, B, and C having below mentioned weights. So portfolio X that is a minimum variance portfolio. Investment is made in three securities in this proportion. In case of buy, again we have been provided with such information. It is supposed that there are no restriction on short sales. Short sales means you can create short position at any point of time. What would be the weight of each stock for a portfolio constructed by investing rupees 5000 in portfolio X? and 3000 in portfolio Y. That is a question. With that, the second part of the question is here. Second part of the question we are going to read later on. I want you to tell me answer of the first part of the question in the chat box. So friends over here, we are required to make the calculation of the answer like this. There are two securities in which, sorry, three securities in which you are making investment A, B and C. The question is providing the information that say what would be the weight of each stock for a portfolio constructed by investing 5000 in X. So 5000 into 30 percentage. That comes to 1500. 5000 into 40 percentage. That comes to 2000 and 5000 into 30 percentage that comes to 1500 in case of the portfolio Y similar information is given you are having an amount of 3000 rupees to be invested in portfolio Y so 3000 into 0.2 that comes to 600 Then it is 3000 into 0.5. That comes to 1500. And 3000 into 0.3. That comes to rupees 900. So 1500 plus 600. That comes to 2100. 2000 plus 1500 is 3500. 1500 plus 900. That comes to 2400. So this is the amount of the investment. Now what is the weight in which the investment is made? Again use a calculator. 2500 divided by the total of this 3. It is 2100 plus 3500 plus 2400. That comes to 8000. That is 5 plus 3 is also 8000. That is the way you can compute. So 8,000 rupees, what you have total amount of investment, 2100 upon 8,000, that comes to 0 0.2625, 3500 divided by 8,000, so in that case, so the weight is 0 0.4375. Then 2400 divided by 8000. That comes to an amount of rupees. Th sir, that comes to 0.30. And the total is of course 1. This is the way we are required to do answer of the first part of the question. Please write an answer. So this is the way the weight is calculated for the individual security in the portfolio. Now, the second part of the question is basically the reason that we are doing answer in the classroom. The question says that say, suppose the investor invests 4000 rupees out of 8000 rupees in security A. What does it mean? It means that say, the weight of A is 0 0.40, sorry, 0 0.50. Why? Because it is 4000 out of 8000. 
the question says i'd say how he will allocate the balance between security b and security c to ensure that his portfolio is on the minimum variance set that is already these two portfolios are minimum variance portfolio friends these two portfolios are already on the minimum variance set the question says that say we want to create one more portfolio which is on the minimum variance in which weight of a is going to be 0.50 how it is 0.50 it is 4000 divided by 8000 we are required to make the computation of the weight of this two let us have understanding let's say how to make this calculation So friends, these two are the minimum variance portfolio already provided to us, and there is an another portfolio. Let us say that portfolio Z that we are going to form, in which weight of A is provided to us as point five zero, that is four thousand piece investment is made out of eight thousand. This is the way information is given to us, and importantly, we are required to compute the weight of B and weight of C. how to make the calculation of the same that we are going to understand logically now friends over here for the purpose of making this calculation we have to understand little bit the theory dear students whatever the markovitz model that say we have studied in that say we have studied the concept called efficient frontier this is the efficient frontier so here we understand that it has been provided to us that an investor has two portfolios known to be minimum variance set for a population of three securities this minimum variance set stands for these are efficient portfolios so this is the portfolio x let us say and this is the portfolio y and now we are going to form an another portfolio that is called portfolio z so when you form the portfolio z what will be the weight of the three securities in the portfolio is required to be found by us weight of a is already provided to us weight of b and weight of c is required to be calculated now listen we carefully there is a diagram that say we have understood something like this very simple uh, like equation in marginal costing we understand the diagram in this way that is on x axis i take the output and on y axis i am taking the total cost then in that case we have a kind of equation like this when there is no output even in that case you are incurring some cost and that is given a name as total fixed cost when there is an increase in the output at that time so the total cost increases why because so there is a variable cost increases this slope is what we understand is the variable cost per unit so we have a kind of equation like this total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus output into variable cost per unit this is the equation that we have so it is y is equal to a plus bx this is what we have the b is basically indicating that's the variable cost per unit x is indicating output exactly the same way we are required to form an equation over here the equation is required to be formed in this way listen me carefully it is weight of b is equal to a plus b into weight of a this is the way the equation is supposed to be formed in a way that say whenever there is a change in the weight of a then what would be the weight of b is required to be found by us for that say we already have the two values based on which we are required to calculate the answer say we have the portfolio x in which weight of b is 0.40 value of the a which is fixed that we do not know 
plus value of the b again we do not know weight of a we know it is 0 0.30 so this becomes our equation number one the other equation that is portfolio y in that weight of v is 0.50 is equal to once again a plus b into weight of a what is weight of a 0 0.20 this is our equation number two. This is the way that two simultaneous equation will be formed. Listen me carefully before we make the calculation of answer. Now using this equation, we will compute the value of the A and value of the B. Once you compute the value of A and value of B, we will use this equation once again in which weight of A will be taken as 0 0.50 to compute the weight of B. Once you compute the weight of B, afterwards weight of C will be calculated as balancing figure. See, importantly over here, since, since it is a minimum variance portfolio, so we understand that so the weights of the individual security will change proportionately. A kind of linear equation is supposed to be formed in order to calculate the weights. So the answer is extremely simple. It is 0 0.40 is equal to A plus 0 0.30 into B. This I am writing as it is. This I am writing with the change inside. So negative 0 0.5, negative A, negative 0 0.20 B. So 0 0.4 minus 0 0.5 that comes to negative 0.10. A positive and A negative will be cancelled against one another. 0 0.30 minus 0 0.20 that is 0 0.10 B. So B is 0 0.10 negative divided by 0 0.10. That comes to negative 1. That is the way first of all B value is calculated. Once you compute the value of B, value of A will be found. So, calculation of value of A, it will be 0 0.40 is equal to A plus B into 0.3. Okay. B value is 0 0.10, that is 1 negative. So, 0 0.4 is equal to A plus negative 1 into 0.3 so a is equal to 0.4 plus okay negative 1 into 0.3 will be negative 0.3 it will be transferred on the opposite side so it will become it will become positive so a is 0 0.70 once you compute the value of a and b we'll make the calculation of the weight of b for that say so the same formula will be used Weight of B is equal to A plus weight of A into B. What is the value of A? It is 0 0.70. Plus what is weight of A? It is 0 0.5, 4 divided by 8 into B. B is negative 1. So 0 0.70 less 0 0.50. So it is 0 0.20. So this is calculated as 0 0.20 and of course this will be found as balancing figure that is 0 0.30. This is the way so we can make the calculation of the answer. The way I have formed the equation for WB instead of that say if you form the equation for WC it is also valid it is also acceptable. Please let us answer the question. Let us answer the question. First point. We have been given that portfolio X, portfolio Y
मिनिमम वेरियंस पोर्टफोलियो कुछ तो सेकेंड पॉइंट वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट both of them are efficient portfolios good stuff third informing third efficient portfolio comma was 0.50 4000 divided by 8000 now we have to find wb and wc importantly we assume that weight of individual security will change proportionately full stop accordingly wb and wc will be calculated full stop 